to quote Arthur C. Clarke, he claimed that what really makes something a technological marvel is when it is indistinguishable from magic. And he said that in the context of analog instant photography. And there's nothing in the modern age which can do what it can do. Polaroid Instant Film and the Impossible Instant Film are, are the world's most chemically complex man-made things. When a picture is developing and you have the simple joy of watching it develop, there are literally hundreds of chemical reactions that are happening. Light is captured by the camera's lens and focused onto the film. In the negative, there has to be something which can react to that light. That chemical is called silver bromide, which can be made sensitive to red light or green light or blue light. Also in this negative are three dyes. Each of those dyes is paired up with a specific kind of silver bromide. The next thing that happens is the film pops out of the camera. It passes through rollers and there's a pod at the bottom of the picture frame which contains a developing fluid and a dark blue dye to provide a darkroom environment. Those dyes, when they come in contact with the developing fluid, they are able to migrate from the negative to the top part of the picture where they can be seen. Analog instant photography really is an entire science and an entire art form unto itself. We live in a world which is incredibly digitized, but years ago it was a world that was completely analog. When you're seeing something analog, there's a whole other dimension to it. There's something marvelous about it, and there's something intriguing about it. And as people are looking to, to try to understand why there's still a fascination with the analog instant photography, some of it is probably wrapped up in that personal nature of it. prints that are made from instant photography, each of them is unique. It is the result of the chemistry that happened, and it doesn't always happen the same exact way. And there's a certain beauty to that. This is analog. This is what analog is. It is very similar to a living system. It's an incredibly elegant, elegant thing. And so for me, the answer to the question is, is keeping this alive manifestly important? I believe it is.